Hello friends. In today's class, we are going to talk about multi-programming. The next uh, kind of uh, property of operating system is uh, is multi-programming. So here in multi-programming, uh, okay. So what is basically multi-programming? No, I'm not saying that this batch processing, spooling, you know, and multi-programming, these all are uh, in order that we are studying. So it may be possible that uh, some uh, development has occurred earlier. And, um, and this one occur maybe later so but this is not an order it is just a property of the operating system so maybe I have referred this property earlier also now so the idea of the multi-programming is that uh, suppose uh, we start with suppose a pro CPU is executing a job okay CPU is executing a job And after CPU time is over, it switches to switches to go for IO. Now think of the situation that what exactly a CPU uh, will do when job goes for input output what exactly this uh, CPU will do okay with the non multi programming okay with non multi programming CPU will remain ideal to do nothing okay it will not do anything and uh, and that is that is also not good actually again from the point of view or from the point of view of cpu utilization okay because cpu is a resource and what we want here in this case is we want to keep it busy all the time so with what multi programming there is a job pool okay there is a job pool and since we cannot uh, put all the jobs in the main memory we take a subset of jobs subset of job in memory okay so now uh, there is a multiple jobs are there and that is the subset of job uh, from the job pool and think of yourself also you uh, as a user we don't run a single program okay we don't run a single program we are running multiple programs simultaneously we are busy with browsing, we are running a word processor, maybe we are listening music, right? So we are busy with multiple things. So as soon as one process or one job, one process goes for input output, goes for IO. Now CPU switches to another job with multi-programming, CPU switches another job okay and that concept is basically called as rather than running a single program uh, we are running multiple programs over here okay so single user with multiple program that is the idea of the multi program let's uh, read out few points of this multi programming so set of job memory as a subset of the job kept in the job pool. The operating system picks and begin execute one job in the memory. Eventually job has to wait for the some tasks such as input output operation to complete. In a non multi programming system CPU would sit idle. Okay so in that system here okay this is wrong idle. And uh, in a multi-programming system, operating system uh, simply switches uh, to an execute another job. When the job need to wait, the switch CPU switches to another job and so on. Eventually first job finishes waiting and get the CPU back. As long as at least one job is needed to execute, CPU will remain, never remain ideal. So that is, uh, that is the idea of a uh, multi-programming 
so there are four following activity okay so this is the you can say the properties operating system keeps the several job in the memory at a time the set of job is a subset of the job kept in the job pool the operating system picks and begin execute one job in the memory multi programming system monitor the state of all active programs and system resource using memory management programs to ensure cpu never remain idle so here uh, one last point here in this case is that i uh, i have to maintain the main memory right we have to maintain the main memory and we we have to also manage our main memory properly with multi programming multiple jobs are there memory management will become the key issue uh, to summarize this multi-programming, uh, we can have few advantages and disadvantages associated with uh, multi-programming and the advantage is certainly the, the task that we are doing very efficiently and high and efficient CPU utilization. That is the part. Okay, So high and efficient uh, CPU utilization. Uh, a user can feel that I am doing multi, uh, I am running multiple programs simultaneously. User can feel that. Uh, that there is a, simultaneously that there is a uh, simultaneously more programs are running disadvantages you have to pick the job okay you we have we need to we need to pick a job and uh, to accommodate the jobs in the memory memory management is required so for picking up the job uh, cpu scheduling is required and to accommodate in the memory, memory management, allocation, deallocation, free space is required. Okay, so that's all for this discussion. Thank you.